Howdy YouTube, Darlington Farm here. Yeah, I got some airbags. Like I said, uh, I think I said in the last video there, I got the uh, Firestone airbags there for my uh, 05 F350 here. Um, was uh, have it apart here because I was working on the flatbed and then brought it over here. Uh, basically because somebody took the emergency brakes off this at some point. And uh, yeah, I gotta put those back on here. No idea why they removed everything, but uh, they took the back dust covers off, the pads and everything else. So this should be fun to get back on there, except I am currently waiting on uh, the tool to un or loosen the axle nut there. Or not axle nut there, but the um, hub nut that uh, holds the bearings in there, which uh, is kind of the hold up at the moment. And I'm going to go ahead and change the fluid out in the diffs and everything while I'm at it. But uh, anyway, the airbags, yeah. So the airbags basically sit right here, in between here and here. And uh, they are going to be, I think, especially easy to install since I don't have a bed on there. Uh, also, oh, new shocks. The uh, Old shocks on there, you can just take them and like that, squeeze them together and they didn't do anything. So, spending some big money on this thing at the moment uh, to try and get it up and running, but it will hopefully not give me any troubles after I get it back together here. And especially while I have the bed off, it should be pr pretty easy to get all this accomplished. So I'm gonna go ahead here and start assembling the stuff for the airbags. Also, I removed the bump stops here. I uh, just took the air hammer and knocked the head of the bolt off because they were really rusty. I did that the other day when I was kind of cleaning up the frame with my needle scaler. But, uh, so basically the kit from Firestone here comes with some pretty decent instructions. Uh, very simple. There's, you know, bracket, bracket, bracket bolts on the top of the actual airbag here and then depending on what axle spacer you have you've got three different height uh, spacers uh, that go between the axle and the bottom bracket here so very easy very simple um, I can flip here to the directions and kind of let you see that but yeah there you go basically this this piece you know this piece bolts to the frame this piece over here bolts to the axle you know super simple so oh hopefully it won't big, be too big a deal to install here i think i'm gonna go ahead and put the camera on the tripod and give this a go <laughs> So I just got a couple pounds going in the bag here just to try and center it up so it kind of stays in place here. As you can see, there's a little spacer that goes down here. Um, yeah, anyway, I might have that on backwards. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, I just have a few pounds in there just to try and hold it up here so I can get my bracket centered. All right, so once you get this together right, this uh, spacer here goes, the long side goes to the outside of the frame. And then that uh, there's a little space here in this bracket that just locks into the bolt. I have it backwards <clears throat> on this side here. So there's a, a little, let me zoom in here so you can see here. All right, yeah, there's a spacer and I have the spacer backwards on this one and then there's just a little notch in, on this bracket right here that locks right in there and goes really easy. So I just got to fix that guy real quick 
and then start snugging bolts up. And yeah, this has taken me like 20 minutes maybe. So pretty easy if you have the bed off. YouTubes. Well, I have both sides in there. It is totally out of the way and uh, hopefully we'll do what it's supposed to do when I actually get the truck bed and everything else back together here. Uh, I did this on my 96 as well, uh, except the brackets for it, you kind of had to drill through the frame here and it was uh, not as slick of an arrangement as this. This just kind of pops right in there. Uh, sits right on top of the existing, uh, you know, basically everything, and uh, no drilling, no tapping, no nothing. So, pretty snazzy kit here. I'm gonna wait until I have my bed on here to run my airlines, so I'm gonna run them back here to a T, and then somewhere back here, you know, stub it off where I can use it, to, or use an air compressor to fill it up. Anyway, yeah, so what I'm waiting on now is parts to go ahead and get uh, the rest of the truck going here. I gotta replace the emergency brakes, because at some point, these dust shrouds on the back here rusted and someone removed everything. They removed the kit, they removed the brake pads and I didn't notice this until I was doing my rear brakes the other day and uh, had the drum off and I was kind of looking at it and thinking, well you know, there's no place for emergency brakes on this. Wait, <laughs> I don't have any emergency brakes. There should that shroud bolts on right here and the pads, you know, attach right here and then down there at the bottom. Uh, but right now what I'm waiting on is there is a, uh, you know, a nut in here that holds the uh, bearings together that I do not have the tool to remove that. So I'm putting new uh, seals and axle hubs there and I ordered some new fluid for the differential here because I have no idea if that's ever been changed. And gonna go ahead and service the rear end here. Hopefully I don't need to put bearings or anything else in it. But anyway, yeah. I'm Darlington Farm, that's what's up this week. If you have not, please click that subscribe button down there and check back the channel here. Also, oh, I don't have my Peacefield hat on. I have Peacefield hats and stickers and stuff. I'm Darlington Farm, have a good weekend, everybody. <coughs> Damn it. It's like take number four.